find yourself comparing yourself to me, Jacqueline, ask yourself this. Do you have old drywall in your closet? Do you have an old Demogorgon mask you made for Halloween? Do you have a bag of old moss? A bloody clown bow? Don't compare yourself to me, Jacqueline. Comparisons are unhealthy. What am I doing? Hey guys, so today's video is one that you've probably seen floating all over the internet, and I decided to give my personal spin on it, and it is the following blanks makeup tutorial. Today I chose Jaclyn Hill and I will give you a very specific reason of why I chose Jaclyn Hill because it was not an easy choice. The reason I chose Jaclyn Hill is threefold. One, because I just think that she has beautiful skin and face and makeup, skin and face. Two, as you guys can see, Jaclyn and I live very similar lives. And three, because I met Jaclyn Hill two years ago at IMATS and had an incredibly cringy and awkward experience with her that I would like to share with you. I believe the person who recently originated this challenge was Thomas Halbert, who started off by doing, following a Jeffree Star makeup tutorial. What's so funny about that is I feel like me and 500,000 other YouTubers have said this by this point, but I swear to God, a year ago on my list of videos that I was like, I wanna do these in the future. Zach and I were talking and he was like, why don't you do uh, following some YouTubers makeup tutorials? And I was like, that's a really good idea. And so I wrote it down on my list and I kept meaning to get around to it, but I never did. So beating myself in the ass that I didn't, but just cause you didn't start it doesn't mean you can't do it. So I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it. So today I'm gonna be following not one, but two of Jaclyn Hill's tutorials. But wait, before you wanna run, because that sounds really extra and irritating, it's because in her Radiant Glow Foundation routine that I'm going to be following, she says, I'm gonna go do my eyes off camera. And I'm like, Today I'm going to literally act as though I know nothing about makeup. I'm just gonna try and follow a tutorial as if I were a novice at makeup. Jaclyn Hill is the one YouTuber who can sell me dog shit. Before we get into this video, I wanna tell you a story. This is a story of a girl named Christy, awkward ass bitch who went to IMATS two years ago. New in the industry at the time, scared, awkward, not much has changed since then. I was standing in line at a Morphe booth out of the corner of my eye. A glow catches my eye. And as she walks by, I realize, holy fuck, that's Jaclyn Hill. I text my friend and I say, holy fuck, it's Jaclyn Hill. And he says, go talk to her. And I said, yeah, no, not gonna happen, too awkward. And then he said, you're an idiot, go talk to her. I said, what do I say? And he said, say something. Just tell her that you like her videos and what your name is. And I said, I know just what to say. And she actually walked over to us because we were all in line and a bunch of people were like, Jaclyn, Jaclyn. And this was long before the time that I had ever met influencers before. So I was still in that like slightly fangirl stage of my influencer meetings. She walked over to the group of girls and they were all telling her how beautiful she was and how amazing she looked. And it's so crazy that you're here. And she goes, I know I've been, be I'm just pulled in so many directions right now. This is so crazy. IMATS was really cracking down on people being there. So she was kind of scared to cause a group of people and people were forming a group. The group of girls we were with, they all started talking about about her skin and her skincare. Uh, they were all like, God, Jacqueline, your skin is so beautiful. And I just, I just love it. You, you look so good. And I was like, I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna finally say something to her. And they were all like, you're so beautiful. And she's like, thank you so much. And, and then I said, yeah, <laughs> you bitch. I meant it like, you're, you're like, you, you bitch, you got perfect skin, lucky. Um, but then she got, she had got pulled away real quick. And I realized that the first and only words I've ever spoken to Jaclyn Hill in my life were, you bitch. <laughs> and that is the day that I died. I'm sure Jaclyn will never remember that moment for the rest of her life, but I'll remember it for the rest of mine. And that is the story about how I called Jaclyn Hill a bitch. Now let's do her tutorial, shall we? I'm gonna be following her Radiant Glow Foundation routine down here. I've got some products over here I think will work. But Jaclyn, don't fuck me up here, okay? Otherwise I'm gonna call you a bitch again that you won't remember in two years. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my full coverage, current foundation routine to achieve a very flawless finish, yet an intense glow from within without being dewy, without being sticky, and without being too matte. Long story short, I'm gonna show you guys how to go from this to this. Grab, grab your tools, tools, grab my tools, let's get started. <laughs> 
it's not a good look for me. You know, this isn't I'm a good look more for me more either. like my third grade class photo, and yeah. I'm not proud of that. I'm not proud of it either. The most important step in prepping your skin for a flawless base is what comes before you ever even touch your makeup on your skin. What's that? Which is your skincare routine and your exfoliation process. Your makeup is only gonna look as good as what's underneath, and I hate to say that, and it sucks ass because it's the cold ass. hard truth. Got it. So just make sure that you are drinking lots of water. I don't drink water. I have to drink water? Do I need to, do I need to go get water right now? I really need to drink water. I am not hydrated right now. I'm not hydrated either. Oh my God, girl, we're best friends, aren't we? <laughs> Prepping my skin. I'm using Primerizer from Smashbox because I don't have Sicily Primer because I'm poor. But now I am all about primers. But I have to say, not necessarily something that's sold in a bottle that says face Primer, spraying on some Fix Plus on the skin, or using a really great Fix serum plus. or a great moisturizer. There's all different ways of prepping the skin. Just make sure that your skin has a little bit of tackiness to it. Got it. So now for my foundation, I'm gonna start off by going in with the Hourglass Vanish Stick okay, Foundation. Well, this is one of my favorite foundations ever. I don't have the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, but what I do have is something that's not like that at all. I don't like stick foundations in general. It's what I've been using for the past couple of months, along with the Dior foundation that I'm gonna put on shortly. I'm gonna be putting on several different colors, but this is not necessary for you guys to do at all. It's just right now, I am kind of a very strange in-between shade where oh. I'm not really like perfectly matching any one color. So I'm just kind of mixing a bunch of them, but please don't try this at home. Don't. <laughs> I know you're probably like, what the hell are you doing with that color right there? But just, just don't try this at home. Trust me. Now this might look like a lot of foundation, but if I blend I'm gonna try it at home, cause you can't tell me what to do cause you're not my real dad. I'm going for full coverage. What I'm using is my RCMA foundation palette. This looks like I am satanic. Great. She also put kind of a darker one right here. She said not to do that though, but I'm not very good at listening. You know what, Jacqueline? I think it's funny that this is how we became best friends. You don't know it yet, but you're gonna. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the Dior Forever Foundation okay, in the this. shade 21. This is a usually like my go-to shade I'm unless shade I'm really 15. fair, then I am shade 10. I'm gonna pump this on the back of my hand. Okay. Just a few dots right there. I'm gonna grab my damp beauty sponge. Any beauty sponge that you love the most will do. You can use a beauty blender. A lot of people have beauty blenders. Mine is the Highlight Something Something Sponge by Morphe. I don't know, it looks like I will use oh. the Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin Mist the majority of the time, or I will use the MAC Fix Plus, or I will use the um, Lila B A Glow Face Mist, which is in my purse out there in the kitchen. Okay. So for today, I'm gonna use the Tatcha. Okay, I'm I have gonna Tatcha. Do, I'm gonna spray this flat side of the beauty sponge right like this and get that nice and wet. Nice and wet. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just dab that on the back of my hand and pick up that product like that. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go into my face and I'm gonna begin to just pounce all over my skin pounce. and blend this all together. This is my absolute favorite part of my entire makeup routine. Is it now? Right now. It looks I don't like know shit. what it is about taking this flat side of the sponge and just pressing and pouncing it into my skin. It is the most satisfying feeling in the entire world. I could do it for hours. What the hell's happening, so I'm Jacqueline? This whole portion of the face. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna grab the sponge again. I'm going to put a little bit more of the Tatcha what Luminous the Dewy Skin Mist. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more on the back of my hand and then just do the exact same thing to this side of my face. Oh, I just love watching all of that unevenness and all of that redness and hyperpigmentation just disappear before my eyes. It's so good. Girl. You are too fast. Is it this sponge? Cause that's trash sponge. Hang on, let me switch to the beauty blender. That looks so bad. And this can't be, this can't be true Jacqueline. You wouldn't ever do this to me. Hang on. Dior Forever Foundation. And now we're gonna go in with Dewy Skin Mist. Okay. My skin looks like butt shit. Yes, you heard me right Jacqueline Hill. Jacqueline Marie Hill, butt shit. What's your real, what's your middle name? Jacqueline, Roxanne Hill. It's actually really fucking sad that I know that. It makes me feel like a loser. And I am a loser. And proud. Not that proud though. But like kind of proud. <laughs> but like if there was a Jaclyn Hill trivia game, I think I might win. But not if that means that it's gonna make you think I'm weird. And actually I trust you again because this is looking pretty good. Tarte oh. Shape Tape. My Tarte. shade right now is light medium, light but medium. I don't have light I have medium. Fair. I have light neutral and then I have medium. So I'm just like mixing those two. Spray, Spray. the tip with that luminous dewy skin mist, okay. and I'm just going to pounce that into the under eye area. 
Okay. I am gonna put this on my actual eyelid. That's how I prime my eyes. If you guys feel like concealer doesn't work for you, of course you can use any eye primer you want, but this is what has worked for me for years, and then I just set my eyes with powder and I'm good to go. I feel like it gives me the best eyeshadow primer out of anything that I've ever tried. We're gonna put it right okay, there on the so chin. She's putting right there on the cubicle. Okay, bow. shape tape. Put it right around my oh, nose. Okay, like this. I'm gonna put it on my actual nose. I'm gonna put it up here in the center. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is something that I will never stop doing, highlighting the center of my face. <sighs> like sharp, like Hollywood, like Megan Fox look. You know what I'm saying? Megan Fox? Do I look like Megan Fox? <laughs> oh my God. I look like, gross. Okay, I must admit, I never use shape tape to like highlight my face like that, but it like is so thick, it like fills in the pores. Am I Jaclyn Hill or what? So it is time to move on to powder. So powder. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Airbrush Powder in shade number two right here. Okay. And I'm also going to be combining that with the Lancome, Lancome Absolute, Absolute powder. powder. This is the Radiant Absolute Smoothing Pesh. Powder right here. And this is in the shade Absolute Petch. Petch. It is the lightest shade right here. As you can see, it is much lighter than my skin, but I will show you how I use it so that it doesn't make me look like a ghost. Okay. So we are no longer going to be spraying our beauty sponge now that we are using powders because it will just like go in and ruin your powder and create like yucky guck on the top and it, it just guck. won't work. So just Use the side that is now damp, but don't spray any extra skin sprays on it at this point. Okay. I'm just gonna take that side of the beauty sponge and just go right in and you can see how much it picks up right off the bat. It picks up a generous amount. And then I'm going to kind of tap off the excess like that. Okay. And I'm gonna begin just to press it into my skin very lightly because I don't want to make myself like matte as can be. Now I don't have Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder or whatever. I have MAC Next to Nothing Powder, which does have a semi-radiant finish. And she's just gently pressing it in, she said. I never, and I mean never, use pressed powders. For my under eye, I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. This is one of my favorite palettes ever for the under eye and for contouring. I can't talk for contouring as well. I'm gonna go in with this first shade right here that you can see is very loved. I'm just going to dab that lightly on my under eye. Mine's very loved too, Jacqueline. Okay. Up on your eye towards your temple, okay? And this is where we're switching over to a different tutorial from Jacqueline because she comes back with her eyes looking absolutely flawless and perfect and beautiful and I am really upset about it, Jacqueline. We'll be back to this, but we're gonna move over to the Extra AF Festive Holiday Glam. Go in with a bright red cream shadow base to really make everything pop. This is by Makeup Geek right here in the shade Poison. I don't even know if these are still sold by Makeup Geek, or if they were discontinued, but you can use anything red and creamy. I think NYX has some, and they're very inexpensive. You can honestly even use a red lipstick or a liquid lip and just make sure that you blend it out pretty quickly. Okay, so she says to use a red lipstick. She told me to do this, so Jacqueline, if I die, this is on you. This is the high voltage lipstick from NYX. All over my entire lid. Okay. As I'm doing this, I'm not gonna keep my eye like kind of saggy like this. I'm gonna like pull up my eyebrow really high and really intense so I have no wrinkles in my lids and I can really see every single thing that I'm doing. That way that cream doesn't settle in any of those lines and I can really see exactly where I'm placing it. Okay. So right now you can see it's all over the lid. I'm gonna bring it up, whoa, I was hit myself in the face. I'm gonna bring this up on the outer crease a little bit higher because I am going to extend this color up in this area. So it's gonna kind of drag it around here, stamping, going back and forth in like these weird kind of padding, dragging motions. I'm gonna grab another pencil brush and just go over those edges because I really want this to be as blended out as possible because it'll just make everything so much easier the more blended this is once we start getting into the powder shadows later. Okay, is that? That's kind of it, ish. Mine's definitely more pink. Hers is more of like that ox blood color. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna trust the process. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab some translucent powder. Translucent I am just powder. going to put this right underneath my eye because we're gonna be going in with a lot of dark, intense, vibrant colors, and I don't want it to ruin the base that I have put all over my face. 
<laughs> the rhyme was so good. Okay, so for today's look, I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics brush set that she sent right I'm here. I'm not using those, Jackie so boy. I'm gonna start off by going with the shade Creamsicle right here. I'm gonna okay, be using so the Kylie going Jenner with brush the shade in Creamsicle. number 12. She's using Kylie Jenner I'm brush, I'm not doing that. I'm going to place this right along the upper area where we blended that cream shadow out, just to give it that warmth and make sure that it is looking fire. This oh, yeah. brush is much stiffer than what I'm used to, but don't hate it. She already has her eyebrows done. Well, BRB then, I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and be right back. It's bullshit. So now I'm gonna pick up the shade Jax right here, which is a matte burgundy red. I'm gonna do this because I know it's gonna work. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in now with that number 13 brush from Kylie, and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the shade Hunts right here in my palette, and I'm just gonna go right over that edge. I will say her brushes pick up a shit ton of pigment. Fuck, bitch, you're so fast. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with the Kylie concealer in the shade Stone, and I'm gonna pick up her brush in number 14. She is going in with the Kylie concealer on a flat brush. I have the Kylie concealer right here. Okay, um, ah! I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M421, and it's just a smaller, stiffer brush, because I just feel like this is gonna like pack the punch that I need, and it's just, it's just better for what I'm doing. I'm gonna go in with the shade Queen right here, which is this true Queen. gold shade from my palette. So I'm gonna pick this up, I'm gonna spray a little bit of Fix Plus on it, and I'm just going to tap it right on here. Okay, she sprayed it with Fix Plus. Tap it. Oh, I see. This is damn cute, bitch. This is beneficial. If you guys don't follow tutorials, this is really teaching me some shit right now. This is teaching me some new techniques I do not do with my own eyeshadow. And I feel like I look like Jaclyn Hill right now. I, you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between us. Then I'm gonna grab some Makeup Geek. It's a makeup geek kind of day. My second Makeup Geek product in this video. I'm gonna use the pigment in the shade Liquid Gold and it is like really, really intense. Like, whoa! I do not have Liquid Gold from Makeup Geek, but I have this unnamed, it's like just literally there's no name on it. It's this pigment right here. I've never used it. She says it's kind of a green gold that she's using and this is also totally like a green gold and I don't even know what this, there's like no markings on it. So this is the Make It Forever number 11 loose glitter. So in order to make this glitter stick, you have to use a glitter glue. You cannot just take a glitter and put it on your eye. It might look cute for five seconds, but it's gonna fall, it's gonna ruin your lashes, it's gonna ruin your makeup. So my favorite glitter glue ever is the Lit Cosmetics glitter glue. I don't have the Lit Cosmetics glitter glue, so I'm gonna use the NYX glitter primer. Tap wherever I'm going to want that glitter to stick. Then I'm just gonna dip my brush right into that glitter, and I have a ton on my brush right there. I'm gonna tap off on my hand a little bit of the excess, so it's just like that. Okay, And then I'm just going on. to place it really lightly Tap over top off of it. the glitter, okay. So I have the same Makeup Forever glitter that she's using in there. So we've got our, oh shit, bitch, that is so pretty. Okay, tap off the excess, and then Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Dunning. I'm literally in love. Um, I don't want to do the green lower lash line, Jacqueline. I'm going to, but I don't want to, okay? I'm going to pick up the shade Enchanted right here in the bottom center of my palette, which is like this matte kind of foresty hunter green. Drag it all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner <clears throat> of my eye. I want to put a little bit of the Makeup Geek Voodoo Foiled Pigment on my lower lash line really quickly because it is so green, like nothing okay. trumps this green. Now she's going in with Voodoo. Voodoo, who do you do, do what remind me of the babe? So my baby, crying hardest babe could cry. What could I do? 
Now she's gonna pop some lashes on, but I see that you left a big step out, Jacqueline, and it's the biggest step, okay? You didn't show doing your eyeliner. But even though you didn't, I'm gonna do it because you came back with it done, and so that's not cheating, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop some lashes on off camera, and then we're gonna switch back to the other video and finish up the skin because her skin in that video looks fucking popping. Okay, no lie, um, Jacqueline, this is directed at you. I love you. This is gorgeous. What the fuck? So I already bronzed up my face with the damn hula bronzer from the other video, but I screwed up. I screwed up, okay? I forgot to switch back videos. However, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So Jacqueline in this video is using the Lancome Absolute Powder in Absolute Paint. Pache, Pache or whatever. I cannot find this powder. I have been to like every Macy's. I could order it online. I, I should have ordered it online because I'm trying to get it for weeks. However, I didn't. So I actually have this Givenchy Prisma Libre powder and I don't know if this is at all similar, but this is radiant as hell. Press this into the skin. And at first it is gonna kind of look like a beard because it is a pretty light shade, but the more I press it in, the more it kind of melts into my skin and doesn't give that white cast. It just becomes a beautiful radiant powder. Like, I want you guys to really see how much this transforms my skin. So the conclusion I'm drawing here, the Givenchy powder is not the same as the Lancome powder. Now for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with MAC Cosmetics Mac, Mineralized Skin sun. Finish in the shade Give Me Sun. I'm just gonna use this to warm up the face. Damn it. Wish I wouldn't have screwed up. Give me sun. I'm using that too. I'm gonna do a little blush because I don't think I can live without blush. I I can't live without blush either, but what kind of blush do you use, you know? So now for highlight, I'm gonna go in with the NARS Highlighting and Bronzing Palette okay. right here. I'm gonna pick up the first two shades in the palette and I'm going to be using the same damp beauty sponge again. The highlight is gonna look like this sitting on the sponge and then again, I always tap off a little bit of the excess so it doesn't go on too intense. And then I'm going to just dab that and pounce that into the skin. So I've tried this technique once before per Jacqueline and it looked really textured. I'm gonna use a different highlighter than I used that day. So she used the NARS one. I don't have that, but I do love, this is my favorite highlighter. This is the Ofra Rodeo Drive. And so she dipped her beauty blender in and then pounces her sponge on the face to give highlight instead of using a brush. A long time ago, I used to apply my highlight and then afterwards I would go over and kind of dab it with a sponge, but actually initially going in and applying it with a sponge is just like, a game changer. I mean, it does seem like it sort of brings out the texture in my right cheek. Although it does kind of apply it really nicely. It's just like so fast. She skips over this next step, but I'm gonna do it because this is what I saw in her description box. So it's the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick and Got A Light. This is what she had on and it says in the description. She does not show herself put this on on camera. She looks like she has a lighter lip gloss over the top, so I'm putting my Tarte Gloss in Hella over the top, Hella. And then the finishing step is that she sprays her face with a setting spray. Luminous Dewy Skin Mist is what I'm gonna use because I have it right here. Plus, I bought this because of Jacqueline. <gasps> so like, no lie, um, Jacqueline is a makeup god. <laughs> Um, I feel like this is one of my better eye looks I've ever done. This, I feel like my skin looks great. This was so fun. You guys gotta do this. You gotta actually try and recreate a tutorial. I know this video is a lot more silly and playful, but obviously that's the style of this video. I just sometimes like to just have fun with makeup and not take it so seriously. You know, especially that, like that's where I'm moving forward with my channel. I started getting in my own head. I'm like, oh, everything's so serious and I gotta talk about this and this and this. It's like, chill out, dude. It's makeup. Have fun with it. Play with it. Just have a good time. And I had so much fun doing this. I hope you guys had a fun time and a good time watching this. I hope you like my story about Jacqueline. Sorry, Jacqueline, if you're watching this, which I doubt you are, but if you are, let me know. I'm sorry I called you a bitch. I don't think you're a bitch. I think that your skin is a bitch for being so beautiful. And it's, it's hurtful to the rest of us who don't have your skin. That's all I was trying to say, okay? Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think I did a good job? Do you think that this video was a fun one? I also have an idea. Let me know if you guys are excited to see it. I wanna do 
this exact same thing again, but using my very first tutorial. Not even on this channel either. It's a tutorial that most of you probably haven't seen and you guys are going to shit your pants when you see it because it is, it's horrifying. If you guys are down with it, please give this video a thumbs up. It'll let me know if you guys wanna see that video or not. And I hope you guys are excited for it. All right, you guys, well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have not yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys can also follow me on all my other social media stuff, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. Everything is Raw Beauty Christie. You guys should follow me on all of them, especially Instagram, you know? Not just especially Instagram, Twitter is the main one. I've told you guys this a thousand times though. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye. Oh shit, where's my phone? I gotta know, I gotta know what you do in your video. Eight. Come here, mother. I know you're deaf, but come here. Why you act like me holding his bed? I don't need your money. I have my own. Why is Jacqueline British? Oh. There's a spider crawling on my foot. How about I put him on my Sephora V? Where'd he go? Where'd you go? Just no. We just hired a contractor. This is all gonna be nice. And then who has the last laugh? Hello? It's me. Hilarious joke, Christy. Jesus <laughs> Okay, perfect. I actually have an idea. By the way, I'm out of breath because I just ran downstairs, okay? It's really hard to walk a little bit sometimes. Where's my Jacqueline palette? Who, where'd you put it, huh? Well, I don't know because I use it every day. Fuck. I found it. You can tell when you like a palette so much that instead of putting your laptop in the laptop part of the backpack, you put your Morphe and Jacqueline Hill palette in there. <laughs> so I'm gonna be following the Radiant Glow. <laughs> okay, train, I've had enough of your insolence. You're naked? You're an excuse maker is what it sounds like. What are you doing over there? What are you Are you going to bed? This is bullshit, Carl. You're supposed to help me. How? I thought you were- You coming. said you were staying up till 11. I can film myself. It'll just be kind of cringy, but it'll- <laughs> ah! No. My hourglass powders are fine. Thank you, Lord God. Appreciate you.